After playing as a sorceress for multiple Diablo 2 ladder seasons, I wanted to mix it up a bit. So I started looking for ideas for my next starting build. That's when I found something I've never heard of before. The Wurt Adin. A paladin who uses only one weapon, which is Wurt's leg. Sounds pretty interesting, but not for starting a new ladder season. So I went sorceress again. Three weeks later. After I got bored of my sorceress, I was planning out my adventure to avenge Wurt. Let me introduce you to the holy temple of Wurt Adin. Here, you will find the story of Keeper Kasferatu, who was the first Wurtadin in existence. It's a pretty interesting read, especially since his website dates back over 20 years. I'll have a link in the description, but the reason why I'm going through this roleplay scene is because there are a few rules listed on this website. Attack only with Wurt's leg or fist should Wurt's leg not be available. Do not use mercenaries who engage in close combat, archers and mages are fine. Do not use skills that attack without the use of Wurt's leg, i.e. Smite, Holy Bolt, Blessed Hammer, etc. Now I know what you must be thinking. Can this be done? How much damage would I do? How long will it take? Honestly, I have no idea. I know this can be done, but exactly how? Let's find out. To begin my adventure, it started off pretty well. So wait, I can't attack anything until I get Wurt's leg, right? Oh wait, I can punch stuff. So I have to Mike Tyson my way through everything until I get Wurt's leg? After saving Deckard Cain and Tristram and getting the only weapon which I will be using for the rest of my life, I continued on in Act 1. I backtracked my way back to the Den of Evil, killed Bloodraven to unlock my rogue mercenary, and continued on until I faced my first true test. Round 1. Fight! Two more hits. Hey, we did it. To be completely honest, at the beginning, this wasn't really a challenge. Doriel was a bit of a pain because of his cold aura, but he was pretty easy as well. Thadar, Scorch. Scorch for a, a fire mercenary, I love it. I was moving pretty slowly through the ax, but I was feeling a bit confident. Even Mephisto was pretty much a tank and spank. Until act four. Not even death can save you from me. Yeah. Dude, stop. <laughs> uh oh. Up to this point, I've only died five times, but just from Act 4 and Diablo, I doubled my deaths. The whole fight took me about 10 minutes, and at this point, I knew I had to do something, so I came up with a plan. While Wurt's Leg has a pretty pathetic base damage range of about 2 to 8, it can be socketed with up to 3 open sockets. Now, you may be thinking, just make a rune word inside Wurt's Leg, right? I tried that. Ruin words don't work inside Wurt's leg. So the next best thing is to use runes by themselves, like three shale runes for the increased attack speed. I created a leg I was confident in and I respect all of my skills and stats, making sure that I was able to level zeal and holy shock aura as high as I could. I nearly doubled my damage output, which means instead of taking 10 minutes to kill Diablo, it took only about five. This is so fucking stupid. What am I doing? After redoing all of my skills and stats, along with my new overpowered peg leg, I was able to take on Bale and his minions with ease. I, I, I lied, I had to bug the last few waves. Run. I finished off Bale and thankfully walking into Nightmare was actually not too bad. After creating a rhyme, I had nearly max resistances and my worst leg was putting in work, while my best buddy Scorch was having a blast. When, whenever he can stay alive, I, anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was cruising through Nightmare without too much trouble until hitting another hurdle in Act 4 again. Thankfully, this time I actually managed to kill Diablo and Bale without too much trouble, but before continuing on into Hell, I needed to go back to planning one last time. Since I can actually venture into Hell, I can finally imbue Wurt's leg. Now, I, I can already hear the furious typing on keyboards asking why I didn't do this sooner. Because as far as I know, the possible stat rolls from imbuing is based on character level. Which means if I did imbue a leg at level 10, it would look like this. I would have to replace it fairly quickly. Thankfully, on my last possible imbue, I got one of the best prosthetics you can ask for. I also created a hustle, a new rune word that gives level 1 fanaticism aura and gave it to my mercenary, since this also provides me with the fanaticism aura. As long as Scorch stays alive, he would increase my attack speed even further. This all sounded nice, but if I wanted to feel secure moving into hell, I needed a bit more. What I really need is Crushing Blow. 
For those who don't know, Crushing Blow deals a massive amount of damage equal to the percentage of the enemy's health. If I can stack Crushing Blow with my attack speed and the elemental damage from Holy Shock, I could easily kill Bale. At least I, at least I hope. There are some items that give Crushing Blow, such as G-Face and Gore Riders, but I don't want to rely too much on luck. Thankfully, there are some easy ways of getting Crushing Blow, through crafting Rare Gloves and the Rune Word Duress. I'm hoping that with just these two items along with my attack speed, I'll have just enough to avenge Wirt and kill Bale. The only problem was actually getting an Um Rune. Thankfully, on my second Countess run, okay. I found an Umrune. <laughs> it's not going to be a problem anymore. <laughs> Let's go. With my newly crafted duress and some crafted gloves, I was now ready to continue on and avenge Wirt once and for all. The hardest part of this whole journey? Actually getting to the end. For Act 2, I had to purchase a teleport staff since most of the area would be immune to lightning. But honestly, Duriel wasn't that hard at all. This would be a similar story with Act 3 and Mephisto, where all the little asshole soul killers are also immune to lightning. This was it, Act 4 Diablo. It took me about 15 minutes to clear the whole Chaos Sanctuary, but as for the fight itself, it really wasn't too bad. Scorch got pooped on, but that didn't surprise me. Diablo really was no match for me. With newfound confidence, I finally felt really ready for Bale. The only thing I was nervous about was the Ancients and the Bale minion waves. Thankfully, the Ancients weren't too hard, and with the ability to bug the Bale minion waves with my new staff, I just teleported away and was finally face to face with Bale one last time. It was finally done. I completed every difficulty of Diablo 2 all the way to Hell Bale and for good measure I even killed the Cow King using Wurt's Leg as my only melee weapon. To top it off, I went and personalized Wurt's leg just to make this all really hit home. And now, finally, I can go back to farming Mephisto on my sorceress. If you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate the support. It really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. And if you'd like to see another one similar to this, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be making content similar to this with Diablo 2 and Diablo 4, so make sure to keep an eye out for it. As always, thank you all for watching. My name is Artos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.